The Arduino IDE is great for beginners. It was kept as simple as possible to help you enter the world of microcontrollers. Platform I.O. is an alternative IDE with some extra features to help you write better code, find and solve errors while writing. What is Platform I.O.? It's a free and open source IDE for embedded C++ development. It's a plugin of Visual Studio Code. It supports more than 800 development boards, so not only Arduinos. And it has some extra features compared to the Arduino IDE, like autocomplete, error correction as you type, and very important, better project data management. To start with Platform I.O., what will you need? First, you will need Visual Studio Code, then Python 3.5 or higher, and the Platform I.O. plugin. Well, let's download all these parts and get started with Platform I.O. Let's start with Visual Studio Code. As you see, Visual Studio Code is available for Windows, Linux, and also for the Mac. I'm going to download the Windows version. Then, while well, that is downloading, let's download Python. Python. So there we go, show in folder, first Visual Studio Code. Accept, next, 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 everything just the defaults. Finish, and now we install Python. Very important to tick this box, otherwise Windows does not know where Python X is. Python installation is complete. Now let's start Visual Studio Code to install the Platform I.O. plugin. Here we go to extensions and here we type Platform I.O. And here you see Platform I.O. and we click install. It's installing. This may take some time. The installation is complete. We will restart Visual Studio Code. We click here on the Home button and on the little alien here. And here you see Platform I.O. Here we can start a new project. Let's call it Nano. Blink. We select here the Arduino Nano. Just start typing. Select the board you want. And finish. And here you see the project overview. Your sketch is here in SRC source main CPP. So this is a little different from the Arduino IDE. One of the differences is you need to include Arduino.h. Now let's start writing our program. First in setup we write pin mode and here you see it's helping you to create the code. Pin mode LED built in. 
comma output. Now you see main.cpp is still red. That means there is one error in this file. And I forgot the semicolon. You see now I added a semicolon, and now you see there's no error anymore. So platform IRO really helps you to create your code. Now let's keep coding. Void loop. The program is finished. There are no errors anymore, and I connected a Arduino Nano to my computer. Now let's compile and upload the program to the Arduino. As you can see, the LED is blinking. We uploaded our first program with Platform IO. One important remark, if you use functions, you will need to declare them at the start of the code before you use them. The Arduino IDE can work with functions added at the end of the code. In Platform IO, you'll have to do that in advance. So for instance, if I create a function void blink, and I add this code in the loop in that function and in the loop I call thing. now I compile this and you see there's an error there's an error because the compiler did not find the function blink. It was not declared. Now, if I bring this function to the start and I compile it again, it will work. If you need to add a library to your project, you go here to home libraries and you search here the library you want to add for instance dht sensor search and here you see for instance the dht sensor library by adafruit to edit click on it and click here add to project then you need to select your project in this case, it's our project here, Nano Blink, and click Add. The library has been installed successfully. Now, if you go here on the left to the platform io.ini file of this project, you will see that libraries will be saved in the project. This means that your project will keep this version. So you don't need to worry that the library gets updated and is not compatible with your project anymore. Altogether, Platform.io is a very good alternative to the Arduino IDE. I especially like the error correction, autocomplete, and the fact that settings and libraries are saved inside the project. Please give it a try and let me know your experience with Platform.io in the comments.